Now, I want to be honest with you by saying this. If you are a male, an African husband, do not come to the UK as a dependent. Yes. Especially if you still believe in those ancient mentalities of our forefathers, you know, the man being just the provider of the house, the man being just the head of the house who provides all the financial expenses in the house and does nothing else to support the wife when it comes to domestic work. Uh, our African men, most of them are not domesticated. And if you are such a man who cannot lift a broom to help in the house, not even to help your own children, but just provide money for everything in the house. And um, fortunately, your wife got a job in the UK, you know, as a nurse, as whatever, an accountant, a banker, and your wife moved to the UK. And you are coming here as a dependent who will be staying under the wife's visa. I think there are lots of challenges a lot of you are facing here. Recently, this is a true life story. It happened very fresh just last year. You know, a female surgeon rang the police on the husband who is also a surgeon. They have three children here in the UK. They are all, they're both Nigerians, you know. So what happened? The police came and sent this male surgeon, sent the man away without nothing. They both bought a house. They have three children living together, you know. So somebody was asking me, what could have been the cause of, I mean, this fight or this argument of a woman who is well-placed, the husband is well-placed, both are doctors, not just ordinary doctors, but especially surgeons. You know how much each of them would be making. You know. I told the person asking me this question, look, marriage is not all about money. Marriage is not all about perfection. Marriage is not all about living high standard, having everything, having these high sounding doctors attached to it. You know, that a lot is required of a man and a woman in a marriage. Yes, especially now that both of them are professionals. They go to work, they wake up and go to work in the morning. I've also made a video how difficult it is for a wife to come into the UK with a skilled worker's visa and the husband moves to the UK with a skilled worker's visa. It then means that both of them would be working for 38 to 40 hours a week. And come to think of it, they have children. Who is going to be taking care of those children? This is not Africa. You know, where you can afford to pay for your domestic staff. Here, domestic staff is super expensive. If somebody is coming in to do laundry, that person is basically coming in to mind your laundry. It's not doing any other thing else. Two hours, it does the laundry you paid for the two hours. If person is coming in to cook for you or clean, it is, they have cleaners. It is specific. You know, you don't expect a woman who goes to work and you demand you go to work. Both of you would come back. You would go have your shower. The woman would go to the kitchen and make food for the children. You know, or sometimes you might be home. You, the man, might be home. The woman comes back from work, maybe 10 p.m. at night, and you are on your system, tablet, laptop, pressing, you know, chatting with friends and family or something, and the woman drops her bag, goes to the kitchen to wash the dishes. Who made you food in the morning? The woman kept lunch for you and the kids. She made you supper, you know, and she comes home to see dishes piled up in the sink for her to clean up. The children have not yet taken their baths for the night. They're not ready for bed and you're on your phone. It doesn't work. This is the cause of, you know, contentions among couples in this country, especially African couples, you know. So it's something we should start looking into. If you are a man joining your wife here as a dependent, please drop those ancient mentality of the African man being the sole financial provider of the house, especially when your woman is working here. You know, you don't just expect her to be going to work and still come home to do all the domestic work. It doesn't work. And because all of you are depending on her visa and she has to meet up her visa requirement of working 40 hours a week. So in that case, a man has to help the woman, you know, in carrying out some domestic chores at home. 
Don't just leave it to the woman alone. This is where the problems of most African men in the UK started. This is the genesis of it all. Whereby they refuse to change to the system on ground. Here, there is a total equality of a male and a female in this very country. What a man can do, a woman can do better. This is where it exists. You know, you do not subject a woman to just staying in the house. Even if you are entirely depending on your husband's visa, please know it that... You are not just meant to be sitting at home. You have the right to pick up a job. You have the right to... I mean, the law here protects women a lot. And it is not in the right manner. You know, I am not telling you to disrespect your husband because I respect my husband. I serve him respect as a meal to eat in this house. Yes, as an African Nigerian Igbo lady, I understand that. Our men, they love it when we respect them a lot. We do not take their position in the house. No matter how rich we are, you know, we still mellow down to respect our men. Yes, so I am not either instigating you to go to the left. No, if you are providing for your home, that's all right. And your man is a dependent, which ordinarily they wouldn't like the sound of that word, accepting to be a dependent. Our African men, I know them, they are full of ego and that is how they are created, you know. So our African men are yet to accept you know, to believe this system that put them, that give them that title of uh, being a dependent in this very country. Whereas in the, in Africa, the women are supposed to be dependents and not them being the dependents. And here it is official. You know, for you, the man, it is a whole lot of challenges. Yes. I have made a video where I walked into a shop. I saw an African man carrying a baby in the pram and doing shopping. Where was the wife? Apparently, the wife was at work and she he has to do what he has to do to help the family, you know, by carrying the baby who is not up to school age, possibly a year plus baby in the pram to go shopping. And that's all right. You know, you don't laugh at them. This is the Western world. The men here, they do it. Come to school. You see men doing school room. They are all in the queue. They will drop their keys. They go back to work. You know, accept the reality of life here because if you keep looking back and wanting to become, I mean, I wanting to live the way we live in Africa here, this is where the problem starts. So you can imagine a surgeon husband and a surgeon wife with three children going apart. You know, people who have been married for about five years and coming to this country, you know, they couldn't stay together. Maybe. I am not certain what the problem could be, but maybe because the husband wasn't really helping out in the house, despite him having a job, the wife also has a job, you know, they are both skilled workers. Both of them should have put their head together. I'm not judging them, even though at certain point I have to ask somebody close to them to find out what the problem was, you know. And both of them were not saying anything tangible. Yes, it happens. At times, the women get it up here. You know and decide to lie because the law gives women a lot of rights here there is um, women's right protection here there are a lot you cannot do to a woman in this very country they know their right even if a woman is your dependent and you're treating that woman badly the woman can speak up report, report to the government and despite the woman still being under your visa as as a dependent they can give her a kind of visa to keep staying in this country and they put a legal separation between you two, you know, and definitely they restrict you from having access to see the woman, from seeing the children as well. They will kick you out of the house, you know. So there are certain things you do not do to a woman in this very country. Now, if you are a woman, you should know your right in this country. And if you are a man, you should also learn certain things you are not allowed to do to your woman, to your wife, to your partner here in this country because if she eventually opens her mouth to make reports about all these behaviors, definitely you are going behind for five long years in prison and nobody would want that, you know. So the earlier you understand all these things, you know, all these limitations that you are not expected to do to a woman in this very country, the better for you. And some of these restricted behaviors are... You isolating your wife from her friends and family, it is totally not allowed because if she opens her mouth and reports this, you would go in for it. Secondly, mm -hmm. taking control over aspects of their everyday life, such as, as where they can go, 
who they can see what to wear and where they can sleep monitoring their time monitoring a person via online communication tools or using spy you know depriving them of their basic needs depriving them of access to support services such as specialist support or medical services financial abuse including control of finances such as only allowing a person a punitive allowance such as you know allowing your wife or your woman a meager amount of money that is not even enough to sustain her you know this is prohibited by law here preventing your wife from having access to transport to work and also repeatedly or constantly putting them down telling somebody down telling them that they are worthless they are useless this is not a place where name calling is allowed or where you speak nasty of a woman you don't kill someone's spirit because certain spoken words can actually kill someone so you don't tell somebody down especially a woman in this very country x if she reports you bye bye to you you go behind for five years also enforcing rules and activities which humiliates degrades or downgrades a woman and also you as a man forcing your wife to take part in Criminal activities such as shoplifting, threats to hurt or to kill. You cannot threaten to kill your woman. You cannot threaten to hurt your woman in this country. It's not allowed. So, so I'm talking to every woman out there. Know your rights, but do not disrespect your husband because you are maybe the financial breadwinner of the family. You are the one with the work visa and your husband is independent. No. Men, there are a lot you could do from the comfort of your home. I know a lot of men and women who work remotely in the comfort of their home. Yes, they do their job like data entering, you know, they do customer service work. There are a lot you can do from the comfort of the home. You know, you can also pick up a part-time job, something you could be doing when the children are in school until you know you are able to like um i don't know it's a whole lot of challenges because if a woman comes in here with five years visa with children oh my goodness and your wife or your husband is joining it's a whole lot yes unless you could find a job you could be doing opposite of your wife's uh, rather but in all i plead to women to please bring our shoulders down yes because there was a time the man was there you know forget that you are the one that came in with work visa your man and remember that the children will soon grow and be in school where especially when they get to year 10 they should be able to be you know going to school walking to school on their own and your man would have the freedom of going to get a job on their own you know and some of you your men are also stable in nigeria or in africa they have very resourceful businesses giving them money the respect should still be there don't say because you are here but men i'm begging you guys please help the women in the house it is very important help clean up your children you both give back to these children help give them shower it is something very important help feed your children learn to make small small dishes from youtube videos you can help out you know Making food for your wife, it's it's not making you, it's not going to make you less of a man. Yes, rather it's something that would make the woman respect you more and more. You know, it's something that would ignite the love more and more. Do those things to surprise the woman when she's back from work. Yes, women are humble, women are hardworking, we love to do a lot at home, but helping us wouldn't kill you. You know, so these are just quite a lot of challenges men are facing here. You have seen a lot on social media men being kicked out of their homes. You know, these are just the problems when there are uh, lack of understanding, thorough learns, you know, when one person is not helping the other, it is not good. All right, this is where I would end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and keep coming for more. Bye for now.